We are convened this evening for the naturalization of Nijan Ferris, who is qualified to be a citizen of the United States of America. We had uh, a wonderful childhood. Um, grew up in uh, Beirut uh, for the first 10 years of my life. I uh, went to international college, was the last school that, uh, that I attended before the war started. We moved from one country to the other. It was never sort of, this is a permanent move. And you remember the war, how it went. You never knew what was going to happen. Every day they say tomorrow is going to be fine. And 15 years pass before, uh, before it's fine. My brother had started at Denver University. And so I went and uh, stayed with him and uh, finished my high school there and loved it. Uh, Denver was a great place to, to grow up. I worked at uh, one of my father's companies um, from the ground up, learning that um, uh, life is tough and people have to make a living and uh, it's serious business. I started uh, uh, lugging around 100 pound rice bags. <laughs> I needed more muscles than I had. To me, the passion and the love I have is finding value. So it's like uh, being a detective, uh, and I love it. Obviously, when you're in business and you're an investor, the goal you achieve is to make money. We're blessed. I have enough money for my kids and their kids and, and so on. So that is not the goal. The goal is to do something good with that money. Really, it's been instilled in us uh, from my father from many, many, many years ago when we were young. It's a responsibility to have money and it's a responsibility to be blessed and help others. To me, the most important thing he has done uh, is uh, education. I would have a lot of uh, these students come up out of the blue and say that he helped them. I would like anyone watching this to feel a sense of responsibility towards their community, whether it's uh, their, their home country or here. Uh, Lebanon is like my mother and uh, the state is like my wife and the future is with my wife. We try to instill uh, the, the, the love uh, and, um, and pride of uh, our heritage. Uh, I've worked since 95 uh, with the American Task Force for Lebanon. Uh, I was recruited by my dear friend Peter Tanous and uh, our chairman at the time, Tom Nassif, uh, and, and worked with George Cody and, and Deep Kimi, um, a wonderful team. It was a tough time. It was a different time for Lebanon and the relationship between the United States and Lebanon. And I always believe that uh, the, one of the best friends of the United States has been Lebanon over the past hundred or so years or even more. Truly, I believe that it's very important for the U.S. to maintain its friendship with Lebanon. Lebanon is a very, very small country, we all know this, with very, very few people there. But its reach to the Arab world is a lot, lot more than its size.